We've turned Disney World into a four day game of hide and seek. Spanning all four Disney World parks. You're never gonna find us. And I've already started. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> let's go. Oh my God. You ready? Yeah, yeah. Right, let's go. All right. I feel so silly right now. So hide and seek in Disney World, lots to think about here. Um, obviously we can't break any Disney rules, but it's a big part for an Epcot today, but we're going to all four parks for this game. Oh man, anything could happen. Strategy, I don't really have one. Just not get caught. It's been a while since I've been to Walt Disney World. I just need to go somewhere or she won't find me. The, this is actually petrifying to me. I am not kidding. Like I'm fully telling the truth with my whole heart right now that I couldn't sleep last night because I was doing mental loops around Epcot trying to just like figure out where I was gonna go. I really don't know how today's gonna go. I'm so nervous. <sighs> I feel like I'm being hunted. I thought that maybe someone would want to kind of hang out today but I guess it's every person for themselves when you're playing hide and seek in Epcot for all years. Look at Quincy go. She is on the move. Don't tell anyone but I'm about to go in the restroom and change into a disguise. I think my whole persona for this game is going to be the master of disguise. Uh, I had this idea as I was standing with everybody joking around. We had a little bit of a coffee date before playing the game just because we like hanging out together. And I should have brought a different hat and a change of clothes, but instead I am, there's nothing against the rules here. I am actually gonna go to a gift shop. I'm gonna buy a different t-shirt and a different hat just to throw people off because they know I'm in, I'm in a Disneyland black shirt and a blue hat. It'll be super easy to spot. So I feel if I change up my appearance a little bit uh, and I wear my hat forward, it'll throw them off the scent. <laughs> Who's this guy? This isn't breed love. 718, 719, 720. All right, it's been 12 minutes. Y'all can run, but you can't hide. I'm coming. Let's go. I'm ready. I hope you're ready at home. Um, if you see anyone on camera, be sure to let me know. Shout it out, please, because one of the rules is as long as my camera sees them, they are caught. So if I see someone way up ahead and I catch it on camera, boom, they're it. They are becoming a seeker. So this isn't your normal game of hide and seek. Obviously, we had to do our all ears crazy thing with it. The lands are slowly going to be closed to make things harder on us, you know, the hiders. Uh, also, the only way to win hide and seek is you got to earn points. There are mini games throughout all of these challenges. So we things are definitely getting wild out here. I mean, one, the idea of this challenge is very stressful because you think, oh my gosh, hiding in Disney World, they're going to be hidden forever. How am I ever gonna find them? But you just have to keep your eyes peeled. I'm literally, I feel like a bodyguard right now. Like, did y'all see that video of Taylor Swift's bodyguard where he was like looking everywhere constantly? I, that, is, that is what I am channeling today. That is who I am. I am Taylor Swift's bodyguard. Okay, you guys, I found my hiding place. I am by the bathrooms in the back of Journey to Imagination. This is actually a really good spot if you need to come and sit down and chill. There are benches over here and it's really, really secluded. So this is a good area. Okay, let's check Mission Space first. Now, even if you don't want to ride an attraction in Disney World, you can still go through the exit of any attraction that has some activities at the end of it. So we don't have to ride Mission Space to go into this building. There's a gift shop, there's a bunch of activities for kiddos to do. So you can just walk through the exit, that's totally fine. Let's see here. I don't see any of my friends. Okay, so here we are. This is where I'm gonna hide. This is um, Japanese cute culture. Normally, nobody's ever in here. I forget that this exists. So I'm really hoping she will also forget that it exists. All right, no friends found. We're gonna move right next door to Test Track to do the same thing. I feel like... I just have this eerie feeling that someone is behind me. 
which would be a smart move. All right, I think I'm gonna go here. There are these benches that are wet, but they're here in the back corner. And this provides me a pretty good view of people coming up without them necessarily having a view of me. And I've got this bush here that I can duck behind if I'm in dire need. So I think, I think I'm gonna sit where I can see and then move if I need to. Our new home for the next 10 minutes is going to be the Magic Eye Theater. Oh, did we cross it? Yes, this is also considered world celebration. So we just crossed from world nature into world celebration and I'm gonna tell you a fact. The Magic Eye Theater is an opening day attraction. It opened with a film in 1982 called Magic Journeys. Then it switched to a movie called Captain EO. And then it switched to a movie called Honey, I Shrunk the Audience. And now it is the Disney and Pixar short film festival. And you can also meet Mickey and it's only 20 minutes right now. Um, I'm going inside. I think what I want to do right now, I'm going to keep going in a big circle. So I'm going to go towards World Showcase left, which is Mexico. We'll see what happens when the first land is eliminated. I think we still have maybe less than five minutes until that happens. Okay, I think I am fully hidden. I'm currently hiding in the lockers area uh, by World Traders by International Gateway. I have, uh, I purchased um, a, a hoodie and a yellow hat. I've taken my blue wraparound off and I have a plastic bag full of pretend merch. Uh, I am the master of disguise today. The other thing I might do is keep an eye out for, oh, there's Daisy. And looks like there's another character. I might uh, meet some characters as well. So you know what, let me, let me just get, I'm gonna get in line for Daisy. Cause my back will be turned. Actually, she might, she might leave soon. So actually I'm gonna, I'm gonna get in line over here for whoever this is. I don't know who it is, but there's a line here, which means someone will be back soon. We're gonna do a quick little check inside the Mexico Pavilion. Now they can't be on any indoor rides. So that eliminates most of what's here inside the pavilion, but I also need to check the outside of the pavilion, which we will do, because I am thorough. And you know, who knows, Quincy could be in here. She loves Coco. She's wearing a Coco shirt today. Do you know what I just realized? <laughs> because Mickey and Minnie are meeting and greeting here, I can get in this queue and earn an extra point. And I'm in here waiting for the time to be up anyway. I think I should definitely meet Mickey and Minnie with my new look. All right, I'm going back to my locker spot. Part of me is wondering if, uh, if do I get cocky and do I go meet Daisy as well or just walk around and meet characters because I'm in a totally different disguise or, or, um, do I play it safe and stick out? I already got 10 points. I don't think anyone else has, uh, any of the other hiders have met a character yet. Um, I think they're still in their hiding spot. So I, um, what, what do I do? Ugh. Well, I did it. I just met Nikki and Minnie. Because they're in the same place, it counts as meeting one character. So I'm getting 10 points total for this. But I got something way better than 10 points. I got a cool photo shoot with Mickey and Minnie dressed in their Disney 100 finest. And guess what? They just told me Minnie made the outfits herself. Genius. Round one is complete. The first land has been eliminated with World Discovery now out of play. Oh man, things are definitely getting interesting. I'm in World Celebration. I know it's kind of confusing because World Celebration is the center, but Journey into Imagination is a part of World Celebration. So I am, I get to stay where I am. Um, I've literally seen two people, one cast member, and then there's a man on the phone right behind me. Otherwise, no one's even come where they can see me. So I'm feeling very good about my hiding place now that I'm behind this bush. Okay, oh, okay, I decided to also take a picture with Daisy uh, and 
they have eliminated World Discovery. World Discovery, that would be Mission Space, Guardian of the Galaxy, Test Track, that location. Um, now, here, now here's the real question. Do I go out and meet more characters in Cognito? Because my, uh, my land hasn't been eliminated yet. So do I, do I move? Uh, do I st maybe do I go meet Alice? Because the UK is right next door to the International Gateway, so uh, do I do that? Uh, I could be really pushing it here. You're not gonna find me. You're not gonna find me. I refuse to be found. So World to Discovery is where we just were. Found. So I think what I want to do is just go over there found. to see if anybody comes this way. No, 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 no. You're not gonna find me, Fry Bucket, if that's your real name. You're not gonna find me, I'm gonna win this game. I think I might go over to World of Nature. I'm gonna win this game. Maybe. I don't really have a strategy right now. Okay, we're making it over to World Nature. Almost. We're almost there. The more that I'm walking around, the more I'm like, there are so many good hiding spots here in Epcot. For me, I would just go to the land pavilion and just sit down. So I'm gonna have to go check out the land. There's also more little activities in the Imagination Pavilion. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it is, but this specific popcorn cart has the strongest smell of popcorn ever. Now I want some, but there's no time for that. All right, let's go inside the land pavilion. So I have to move. Um, just a heads up, the photo spot for Visa card members doesn't open till 1 p.m. I've heard a lot of people coming up here and then not knowing that. I have to get out of World Celebration. Uh, World Celebration and World Discovery are currently out of play, which means I can't even go in to World Discovery and I have to leave World Celebration as quickly as possible. So I am scanning the horizon for Fry. I'm going to World Nature. I don't know if this is absolutely bonkers because this is now a shut down land, but I can just think of a lot of places to hide in World Nature and hopefully I'll get lucky and I won't have to move out of here. But who is going to, if people are already in World Nature then sure, but who is going to head into World Nature when World Celebration closes? Nobody. I'm gonna go in Journey of Water. Now that World Celebration and World Discovery are eliminated, if anyone is in World Nature, they have to stay here for the rest of the game until World Nature is eliminated. So if anybody's here, they're stuck. But I haven't found anyone. Now I know I need to move on, and I wanna to head to the other half of the park, but I do wanna check Moana Journey of Water just in case. So now we're heading into Journey of Water, inspired by Moana, but hopefully we can quickly walk through this. Okay, it is very busy in Journey of Water. Kind of the busiest I've seen it, which makes sense. So it's hotter it's the middle of the day. Um, but I am headed through pretty much to the end because, I don't know. I think that there's a couple of kind of tucked away benches at the end that I can park at. And then hopefully if Fry comes over here to look for me, she doesn't go all the way through the attraction. All right, not seeing anyone so far. Let's keep going. It's very crowded right now. All right, I'm just gonna grab this seat right here. I'm in the ocean section, which is the interactive play area. It's very busy, there's a lot going on around, and I think I should be safe. Okay, I did not see anyone in World Nature. I'm not in World Nature, duh. Did not see anyone in Journey of Water. Um, I think I'm gonna move on towards World Showcase because I think that's where most people are. They're probably hiding in pavilions, honestly. So this might have all been a waste of time up here at the front, but oh well. With less than five minutes left of round three, I was really excited because there was no line here at Refreshment Outpost to get my beloved peanut stew. But I forgot when we started so early, it's not open yet. It doesn't open for another 10 minutes. So I'm gonna go hide someplace close by over here, I think, and wait for the 10 minutes. And as soon as those doors open, I'm gonna get some peanuts too. I'm getting 10 more points while getting more points for not being found. <sighs> uh, 
I almost jumped a little girl because she was really small and had curly hair. And it wasn't fry. But, you know. <laughs> All right, okay, good news. What the hiders don't know, um, I just got a pulse hint. So that is something new where if a, well, something, this is all new, this is the first day, but that is something that the hiders currently don't know about. Um, so if no one is found for a certain amount of time, I get a free hint. So this pulse hint does not cost me any points. My pulse hint is some people are getting hungry right now, which means they're around the world showcase, they are grabbing food from a festival booth because they will get bonus points if they can eat a festival booth out in the open without me finding them. So, all good things, and I know that they're either gonna be World Showcase left, World Showcase back, so I don't have to go the full lap of the World Showcase. So, I think we're about to find some people. Let's look. All right, I don't see Fry anywhere. I'm still hiding in plain sight. We're gonna go to Tuscany, see what they got rolling here. Uh, yeah. Montanara, that looks, that looks delicious. Let's try that. There's not much left of this round. Let me see. How much time left? Oh, 11.04. Okay, less than 10 minutes, but still a little bit. If I miss one, I miss one. We're gonna keep going. I'm looking at all the picnic tables. Nobody's there. We gotta keep on moving. Okay, let's look over here by the restrooms. Again, I cannot see. We have a look over by Tiny Town. <laughs> I need you to know what I look like right now. This is what I'm actively doing all day. And I know I look silly, but this is what you do to win. Okay, we're nearing Italy. Let's see. There's nobody in line for the food booth, but we are gonna have to check all the way over here. I had to quickly get out of line because I spotted Fry. I took a picture of her, I sent it, and I only had 30 seconds to send it, which means I had to get out of line. But now she knows I am near, so that was the risk for the 10 points. So either she's gonna backtrack and come to Germany, or, or stay in Italy. <laughs> Sage just sent a picture. I think he's in line. Is he in line? He's in line. Where's he at? Where'd he go? Cause see, look at this. Okay, Sage just sent a picture and she was in Italy, which means she's coming this way. I feel that maybe the right move is to move because she could find me. Yeah, cause I'm just sitting out in the open in there. I don't know what to do. He took it from over here. Where'd he go? Now I'm going insane. I'm just, ugh. I'm gonna cry. Sage just spotted Fry Bucket in Italy, which means she has to be moving this way. I hope our disguise works. I'm gonna go back, just because everybody's about to move anyways, maybe. I mean, some people are gonna have to move. We're, we're getting close. I'm gonna use another hint in the next round. I don't care. I, I have 50 points right now. So, we're gonna use another hint. We're gonna go back towards Germany and see if we can find anyone. I have to get to Germany without her seeing me, which is, I just don't know if it's possible. Last time I saw her, Sage sent a photo of her. Like, literally, he was in line and sent a picture of her. And she was in Italy. I don't think she would stay there, but she might be looking for Sage right now in Italy. So I need to cut through as fast as humanly possible. World Showcase left starts in Africa. So if anybody's in World Showcase back, they're gonna enter through here. So 
so let's just hang out here for a moment and see what we can do. Okay, I'm gonna wait a few minutes because if people are moving, I need to wait for them to move. But let's figure out what hint we wanna use. Um, oh, I could phone a friend. Phone a friend, three minute conversation. Oh, I see her, I see her. Oh my God, I hope she didn't see me. Hold on, a picture was just sent. Breed Love just sent a picture. And I am officially blind. It was from here. I don't know how I did it, but I just walked right past her. I'm, I'm gonna throw up. I don't think she saw me. Oh my gosh, I tried to take a picture of her. You can't see it. Dang it. I could throw up. I need to get out of here. Can you guess where I went and hid? <laughs> I'm phoning a friend. I am phoning a friend. Oh my gosh, she's calling me. Sorry, she's using a phone of friend tip. Hello? All right, that hint, very useful because I did in fact hear the Moana music um, on the phone with Quincy. So I know that she's in world nature. She's been trapped there, I guess. Maybe not. Yeah, so I know that she's there. So I'm heading to world nature because at this point, like, I'm sure I'm walking past everyone, but that is the only lead that I currently have, and I need to find at least Quincy. So, I can get over there. She's probably not at Moana anymore. She's probably moved, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of looking still. But, she's in World Nature. I'm gonna go find her, and then hopefully after that, we'll find somebody else. Okay, I have found my new hiding spot. I am in uh, I'm still in world nature because I can't leave. I'm trapped here. And I'm outside the exit of the seas in this corner. There's a bench here. And then also I can tuck kind of here. And look, it's pretty hard to see me. And she'll probably walk right past, maybe look over here and then go into the seas when she doesn't see anyone on the bench if she comes this way. I have a feeling, I don't think she's close to me. I think she's in world showcase because of the pictures I'm seeing. So hopefully, even though I know she heard that Moana music, she doesn't come this way. But she certainly could um, because she heard Moana music and she has been struggling. So I'm, uh, I'm just gonna hang out in this corner, kind of in this bush. Okay, let's think about this logistically. If she was at Moana Journey of Water and she knew she needed to move, where's the quickest place that you could go? And that is right next door. So we're, once again, uh, gonna go check out the seas. Oh, I'm scared and I'm being, I'm being bold because I'm scared. I just wanna like move and see where she is, but I just don't know. Okay, I'm so nervous. Maybe she stayed in World Showcase left though because it's possible that, uh, that she did. And then, she's wearing pants, well, I'm cool because she's not even over here. I'm just, water bottle. Water bottle. Water bottle. <laughs> <laughs> you got yeah. me. Oh my god. Finally. Am I your first find? Yes. Epcot's very big. Epcot is very big. I'm very sweaty. <laughs> I've been all over the park. Well, you know what? Now I'm a seeker too. All right. So it's time to find some people, I think. I think um, round four is complete. Round five starts right now. World Showcase left is eliminated. They're coming, They're coming here. here. <sighs> Let's go. Okay, I barely made it. Literally, as I was meeting Donald, they eliminated World Showcase left, which means I have no choice. Everyone has to go through the rest of the eliminated lands to uh, head to World Nature. <laughs> and as I was walking to World Nature, apparently Fry found Quincy. So Quincy is officially the seeker. Okay, most likely what's about to happen is they're each gonna take one side of World Nature and catch us all as we're getting inside. And I don't know that I can, um, I don't think I can get past both of them. So I'm gonna try to snatch some finds from Fry, cause she's waiting right here at this bottleneck. And I'm gonna go try to take some by catching people out in the wild. It's risky, but it could happen. I just passed RJ, who is one of my best friends in the world. <laughs> and he just looked at me and I looked at him. You are caught! You got this place. Fuck sucks. Oh my gosh, uh, is this 
the cop posse. You look very cool. Uh, are you? Do I look? For the cop posse. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know. I, 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 ha I have heart. to go. I'm going insane. <laughs> All right, I am headed out um, because Fry was filming when I was not, so she did catch Breed Love just now as he walked into World Nature. I am moving out to try to catch somebody else before they can get to Fry so that I can get those points. I don't remember what anyone was wearing, which... Oh, I see someone! Oh my god! I knew you were gonna find me. I just saw you, and I immediately went the other way. I am so bad. Oh my gosh! Oh my god! Gotcha. I'm accidentally taking a long way around, um, but I really hope that this is the right choice. I don't know that it is. I'm trying to get to the seas, which is probably where everyone and their mother's trying to get to. To be fair, I don't think people love seeing a hooded figure with sunglasses on in Disney. They're like, who's that mysterious man? It's me, the yellow man, playing hide and seek in Disney World. Ah, caught. Whatever you do, Fry, do not tell. You're the only person that knows I'm in this outfit, okay? Okay. I'm gonna go change. Yellow looks good on you. Thank you. Do not tell anybody I'm in this outfit. I, I am the yellow man, I am the mysterious creature. I fly. Okay. Just Emma's left. This is the one time I am thankful for these Epcot walls. Epcot walls, thank you. You are helping me win. If I can last for the next 10 minutes, we've made it through the first park. I don't know that I can, but I'm trying to get over here to maybe Moana. Look out, Dr. Grant. There is a new seeker and I'm not Dr. Grant. So let's go. Where are you, Emma? No, I can't get in line for Moana. She's cut off. That's not great. Okay, I'm in world nature, and I'm just gonna stand over here, I think. I don't know what else to do. All right, she, meaning Emma, the only person left who is not a seeker, she's a hider still. There's no way she's still coming through and not past this walkway. She is in world nature, and she is hiding somewhere. We have five minutes left to find Emma. My DJI has now died. So I'm sorry for the shaky phone footage. But editor, I don't really care about cinematography right now. I care about finding Emma. I should have saved my Joffrey's until now and I could just shake it and she would come running. Cause I've done that before. It worked. This is a really poor hiding spot. But if I, every minute I get a little bit more points. So even if I get found eventually, this is okay. I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I think I see her in line for Moana. I totally do, yes. Hey girl. Gotcha. Day one is over. Um, didn't go as well as I planned, but I still found two people, okay? So it's all right. And everyone, everyone got <laughs> Everyone got found. Everyone got found. Everyone so, got found. Yeah. So this, this game is a lot harder than I thought it was going to be. So Listen, I'll tell you nervous. one thing, though. I haven't told you guys this yet, but we've got some twists tomorrow. What? Uh, Lord have mercy. The game gets of harder for hiders, uh, and we introduce two new challengers. What? Oh my gosh. Yes. Late last night, um, my yellow man outfit was leaked by a producer, which means I have to change my strategy. I've got my later hose in here. For this appears to be a, I can't show that. <laughs> Interesting. How are you feeling this morning? I'm feeling um, nervous because I am the seeker today. <gasps> you're the seeker? Everyone tell me your vibe today. My vibe is super secretive. He keeps forgetting I'm the seeker, so he's trying to tell me his strategy <laughs> six times. <laughs> we have arrived at Hollywood Studios for day two. Oh no, the oh. light got, Adjusted weird. It looks like you've arrived in heaven. Okay. <laughs> Tomorrow when I'm a hider, I will have to do it. And if I'm not found, if Cassie- Day two, hide and seek, Hollywood Studios today. I'm the main seeker, um, and I'm gonna find all these guys basically, but a couple more difficulties today, some new twists on the game, which we'll tell you about, and those new challengers. What? Whoa! Whoa! Everybody has this game. 
kind of figured out. So me and Cassie are coming in at a little bit of a disadvantage. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be that bad though because we're both very competitive and you guys know me. I'm gonna do my best to make sure that I make up for lost time. Hide and seek as a kid always made me very nervous. Wasn't fond of hide and seek. Wasn't fond of tag. I think it makes my, my survival instincts kick in and then I don't like seeking during hide and seek because it makes me kind of confront my own loneliness. So I'm feeling a little nervous, <laughs> but I'm excited to be one of the bonus Jonases. We're bringing a special twist on the game. We think y'all got off a little too easy yesterday, so we are bringing... We're gonna bring some curses, but it's what? not that easy for them. It's bad for us. Since we were not here yesterday, we are cursed. So I can't sit down all day long, and Cass has to... Meet like Beaker every time I move to a new land, but... We can pass off the curses to you. Wait a minute. No, no way. Wait. Well, no. Adam, are you ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three. Three, two, three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna be sick. I'm gonna be sick. I wanna throw up and I'm gonna be sick. And I don't know where I'm going. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my gosh, I'm, oh, oh, I'm actually nauseous. Okay, it's gonna be fine. This might be a bad decision if this land gets locked first because I gotta walk up a street, but I am going to hide in the locker room. I think I'm gonna go somewhere on Sunset Boulevard. I have a crazy I idea. Because maybe I just hide in plain sight. I've got another sweatshirt, it's a different color. I've got a hat. Maybe I just sit at a table. I told everybody that I was dressing in Hollywood Studios camouflage today. Wearing similar colors to uh, the decor of the park. But in reality, I already put my backpack with my disguise in a locker at the front of the park. The lockers in Hollywood Studios are located right next to Oscars, which is also, well, it is the, the stroller rental, uh, wheelchair and ECV rental place. And uh, you can see it's kind of hidden here behind the Coca-Cola kiosk. But right in here, you will find the lockers. You use that. And uh, this guy just wants to, to take my hiding spot. What are you doing? <laughs> All right, so. Get out of here. Are you following me? No, you're following me. Is your strategy to follow me? Well, that oh, that's good. that could be a good strategy. I don't know. Is that what you're no, doing? No, it's not. I just walked into the park this morning I'm and said, hey, hey locker, locker room, rental. no one's going to no one's gonna go to the lockers. Yeah. And here, okay, okay. i got to find a new hiding spot. Okay. Well, you, you could be on that side and I could be on no, this no. side. No, no, I'm going to go to the other side. See, if you go all the way back here, you they can't look in and see us. Right. Ow. <laughs> oh, they peek in? You can in? go over on that side. Oh, I could go on that side. Or I could, ooh. All right. What? I'm either gonna stay in here, or I might go to the photos. Okay. All right, let's see. I'm well, gonna go see what's over there. We still have like, I know, we have forever. Eight minutes or something like that. All right, I'm gonna go look All right, and see. good luck. You've gotta be kidding me. I, I thought that was a genius place. Maybe I'm not as smart as I think I am. <laughs> we all know that. Anyway. Uh, Maybe let's go check the photo or maybe first aid back here because I'm kind of tucked back in the back area over here and I could probably stand somewhere where they can't see me. So let's go check this out over here. I literally thought he was getting a disguise out of his locker too. He was just gonna hide in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's do this. I have my disguise on. <laughs> Got a little, little wig here. Got my little army jacket on the back of it. I don't know if you can see it. So, that way, that way it still fits in with the Star uh, with the Galaxy's Edge theme. Now I just see if I can drop my bag off at a locker, maybe hide in the locker again, the locker area. Let's go. <laughs> I am in disguise. I don't think this looks good. It might end up making me um, look more over, but I don't know. Okay, put my hat on. Um, put a tank top on. It was actually underneath my sweatshirt, but you don't care. Um, still don't know where I'm going. I'm just trying to get like as physically far away as possible. There's a couple of quick service areas right here on the left. All right, I'm in my spot. I'm gonna just stay here. 
also, if you don't know, every Tuesday and Saturday on our YouTube channel, we have premieres. So there's a live chat for each video on Tuesday and Saturday. It's at 10 a.m. Eastern Time. It is 10 a.m. Eastern Time when we are starting this video. So I'm here, I'm in the chat. This is for our Game Master video at the Boardwalk um, that me, Quincy, RJ, and Sage did. So I was in the chat this morning. Um, I'm gonna tell y'all in a second in the chat, but I was in this chat while we were filming Hide and Seek. So this is fun. I love my job. I am hiding right outside of Celebrity Spotlight where you can meet Olaf. And I'm right next to the bathroom. So I'm just sitting over by the stroller parking praying that she doesn't think to come over here. Hi! You look so cute! Okay, you think I look cute? Not as cute as you! Oh, should I do a little spin? Okay, so I'm trying out a new look today. I don't think this is my hair color, but I'm playing hide and seek with my friends today in the park. So this is my disguise. All right, I'm headed out. My 12 minutes of counting is up. I counted to 720 <laughs> with my eyes closed. So I've got a plan here. I am heading to what I think are some of the best hiding places, but my eyes are never going to stop scanning the horizon. I did not look at what any of my friends are wearing because I know that some of them changed clothes yesterday. So I specifically am looking for my friends, which is a really big part of my job in general. So one thing I will be doing for sure is heavily checking character lines because I know that they can get bonus points by meeting characters. My heart just started racing so fast. I'm like shaking because I saw Quincy from a distance and I want to take a photo of her because that's a bonus point if you get a picture of her. But then I was too afraid to get my camera out and like film her or get a picture because I was afraid she'd see me. All right, now I don't wish to alarm you, but this is, uh, this is a disguise. And I'm not, I promise I'm not a super villain. I'm playing hide and seek with some friends in the park. So I figured I'd ask, you guys are master of disguises. How's, how's my disguise? Good, bad? No, just full turn, full turn. All right, okay, I got the seal of approval. No sign of anyone in Launch Bay. Okay, next up. Katja. I spotted Quincy, I filmed her uh, walking, which means bonus points. And uh, I was very close to Star Wars launch bay, so I decided to come in here and walk around and hide out for a little bit. I think I have some time. I think she'll assume that I headed over into Toy Story Land, and I don't think she'll backtrack and try to find me in here. I don't think. If she does, I've got my park map, and I'm gonna really look hard for it and put my ponytail over my shoulder and try to disappear as myself. So I'm playing a game of hide and seek. This is a wig, I promise. I'm playing a game of hide. I know it's fake. It's fake. I'm playing a game of hide and seek with some of my friends. I wanted to see what you thought of my my disguise. I feel like you'll blend in. I feel like I'll blend in? Yeah, okay. All right. Do you mind if I take a picture? All right, we move. We move. Nobody in animation courtyard, it would appear. And I uh, looked around corners, everything. So at least for now, nobody's around the animation courtyard. Hey, so I just looked, this looks, looks a little crazy, but this is a disguise because I'm playing hide and seek with some friends at Hollywood Studios right now. Uh, right, yeah, they're they're hiding around. I told, how do you how's my disguise? It, it's not as good as the super suit. I should go. Oh, yeah, I should talk to Edna. I'll talk to Edna about this. So another Disney Junior character you can meet over at Animation Courtyard is Doc McStuffins, and I'll get bonus points for meeting her too. So I'm in the line. The Doc is in. I'm feeling bold because of this look, and I'm saying let's get in line to meet some of the Disney Junior characters. Shush. Are we weird siblings with our weird... Or am I your dad? I'm your uncle. This game makes you stare at everyone. It looks even remotely like someone you know. I'm gonna go on Sunset, just because it's probably better for me to take fewer steps to try to get down and find someone. Or maybe towards the entrance of the park. Let's try that. Okay, we're on the move. Oh, we're on the move. 
she just walked into the photo store, walked right by me. I had to walk around the pillar so she couldn't see me. I couldn't get a picture of her to get the bonus points, but I had to bounce out as quick as possible so she couldn't find me. So I am on the move and on the move quickly. I'm so bummed because Woody and Buzz are meeting over at Toy Story Land, but that's eliminated, so I've got to keep moving forward. Uh, I think I'm going to go to Grand Central Avenue or Muppet Courtyard. That, that feels like my best bet and furthest enough from uh, where I've been right now. I feel like I've got to stay on the move as the master of disguise. I feel kind of exposed at Celebrity Spotlight, so I'm going to move to the Backlot Express. I found a chair that is almost invisible. Here's the chair, right behind here. I'm gonna sit right here. There she is there. And she is definitely coming this direction. And I'm gonna wait for her to get a little bit closer. I'm probably getting ready to get found, guys. I'm getting ready to get found, I know I am. Cause I've got nowhere to go here. Okay, tune in. Is tune in open? The door is closed, but we're allowed to go inside places. I don't think it's open yet, it's only 10.32. Checking the time on line. Opens at 10.45, so it's not open yet. Ooh, okay. Okay, so that was bad footage right there, but I am on the move again because she just walked right by me, so I'm going back to my original hiding spot. I took the picture, sent it in, get some bonus points real quick, but man, that was crazy. Dustin's here. You gotta picture me. And you know what? I, Donald, and Daisy, cuties. Dustin took a picture of me passing right here seconds ago. Oh my gosh. He got 10 points. He could be anywhere. Gosh, I mean, how did I not see him? Hi, Fancy Nancy. Nice to meet you. I've never met you. Oh, you, you like my look? I like your look. I would love a skirt just like that. It's so pretty. Okay, I'm here by the lockers, I think, technically. This is in bounds. So I might I think I'm gonna go over here to the left and just find a spot. Okay, I'm hoping this land doesn't get eliminated. There's 10 minutes left in the round and I stopped in Echo Lake to meet Donald. So I'm hoping uh, Echo Lake doesn't get eliminated because uh, it'd be a huge waste of time. I feel like I, I feel like I can make it up there. I, can, I don't know if I can make it up there in 10 minutes. There's, there's quite a few people in line. Donald is very popular. Fingers crossed. So far. No one's recognized me yet. This is a solid disguise. People are definitely weirded out by me, but not, not recognizable. I just got word meep. The animation courtyard has been eliminated. So I'm gonna go hide maybe on Sunset Boulevard. And I need to send in this picture of me and Fancy Nancy. That was a really cute character meet and greet. Even though I'm obviously not a Disney Junior watcher, they're such cute characters. I think that they, you can tell that they really love meeting everyone they meet. So I definitely recommend checking that out. I just got a poll sent that says that folks are feeling social, which to me sounds like people are meeting characters, which is good because that's already where I was headed. But I don't know if it's these characters. Toy Story Land and Animation Court. Oh my gosh, it's these characters. So you have to be able to meet you have to meet characters that are outside and where the line is exposed. And most of those meet and greets are in Animation Court and in Toy Story Land, which are both out of play. Which means if someone's feeling social, they're here in Echo Lake. I'm not seeing anyone. Oh. I was in line to meet Donald, but I saw Quincy. Uh, passed by me. She made direct eye contact with me. That was absolutely terrifying. But I, but I, ha but I got out of line because uh, I'd rather get the picture of her because um, the line was still going to be a lot longer. And it is the end of that round. Uh, and Animation Courtyard, which means Pixar Palace and Walt Disney Presents, it all got eliminated. So I'm going to continue to make my way to Muppet Courtyard. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was close. So I have left Animation Courtyard for Sunset Boulevard. Everyone's face, I need to see everyone's face. If someone's face is turned away from me, doesn't matter, I need to see it. Not our favorite 
quick service, it's pizza. Um, that's kind of only okay. And it's a, uh, it does have a really good plant-based meatball sub apparently. So that's an option. Oh, I just saw him. I saw him. You saw him on camera. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. That's crazy, you look crazy. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna do like this. <laughs> We're like restructuring co costumes now. So oh my gosh, wait, 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 wait. We should switch. We should switch. We should switch. <laughs> okay, so just like that, I was found and it j literally, it just happened to work out. She was coming in the same door, I was coming out, and I took off my sunglasses for a second, and she got me. Hey, but listen, good for her. And now, I'm out for blood. Let's get them. Okay, um, 10 minutes left of round three. We now have to do an all call. So we have to send in the group chat three things that we can see from our spot right now. So I'm sitting right here next to Echo Lake. I said Santa Claus because on that decoration, I could see Santa. I said the Tower of Terror, which hopefully will throw her off. Hopefully she'll think that I'm on Sunset Boulevard. And then I also said Mickey and Minnie because I can see the sign for Vacation Fun and Mickey is on it. So that are those are my three clues. Hopefully that's not too easy. Okay, so when I think of subway tiles and a touch of red velvet, Red velvet makes me think of a red carpet, but tiles, subway tiles, makes me think of the entrance to uh, Galaxy's Edge. We have subway tiles, protected lights. Those lights are, are protected. He, I feel like he's gotta be somewhere around here unless he has moved already. He might be in line to meet a character. Let's keep looking. Where are you at? Sage is back. What is he doing? Go away, Sage. Why are you pacing back and forth? He looks like he's looking for something. Is he a seeker now and I don't know? The breed love is somewhere I can feel it. You know, I'm gonna head to Galaxy's Edge. You know, but no, no one is in Gal no, they didn't say anything about Galaxy's Edge. Where are you, breed love? Oh, I can, I can, I can smell him. He's so close. Sage is a secret now, and I totally missed it. It's literally right behind me. Sorry, I'm sure they moved at this point. All right, let's get at him. Muppet Courtyard, Grand Central Station. Well, I didn't get a picture of Sage, but I also didn't get caught, and I think that's more valuable than getting a picture. <laughs> now I know. Sage is a seeker. I gotta check the thread and see who else is. I thought you were Emma. <laughs> I, I felt like, I think if I didn't look directly at you, you. I could have scurried. I moved a little further into the restaurant. I'm like deep in the restaurant right now. And I'm hoping that this new hiding space will get me out of the open. I'm on Sunset Boulevard now. Hollywood Boulevard just closed down, which means if anyone is on Sunset, they are trapped here. Okay, I made it to Sunset Boulevard, which was probably a really big mistake because I'm pretty sure that this is now, I cannot get to other lands. This is limited. <laughs> Here's my thing about Dustin is that he takes games like literally as in like he he doesn't he doesn't really ever bend the rules he's given the rules and he's like okay this is what I'm doing first things first if he's just drinking in tune and lounge I'm gonna lose my mind I mean that's the way to play the game gotcha shirt and I just got gotcha. by Sage as I'm calling out Cassie so he, he probably knew exactly where were I was were you just in here drinking so. 
Yeah, that's exactly. See, that's what I told you guys. Everybody would think I'd be in the bar. I took to the very end until I got caught. Uh, All right, almost made it to round four. So dang close, but now it's time to go on the hunt. Here let's we go. go. All right, I have made it to Backlot Express. Um, I'm not inside the building, I am outside. Um, you can see the entrance kind of back there. Um, I'm going to face away, which I know. I won't be able to see any of the seekers this way and take their picture, but for right now, I'm okay with that. I want to stay hidden. So I'm going to sit here for now, and then we'll see if anybody finds me. We will see if this land is the next one to be eliminated. I don't know. Let's check inside a back lot. I think it's just because I racked up a lot of points yesterday. I got some good character points, so I think I want to phone a friend. I think the friend I want to phone is Greed love. Found you. Oh <laughs> Guys, I was found by a sage. But now, now I'm looking out for Breed Love and RJ. So I could get more points by finding them. So let's go. So um, what's going on? Where are you right now? They could be a ooh dance party at Pizzerio May at P Pizza Rizzo. Ooh, RJ, are you dancing? Are you dancing? You might, you might be up there in the club. What, what am I talking about? I just, I, I, I literally, I, you know, I, I, I get nervous about you sometimes, Breed Love. So I just wanted to make sure you're in a, you're, you're in a safe location. It sounds. Uh, so the only thing that I have to fear is you, Sage. All right, let's climb these stairs. Let's get a good scan from above. But let's first check inside. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to take up too much of your time, but um, no, no, I just found Fry, so I just want to make sure. You know, is there anything you need to confess at this current time? Is anybody having a dance party or just hanging out over there? I think I see somebody just hanging out, just chilling, having a good old time, just enjoying some food. You know, I just don't know why. I mean, I, this was smart, though, I guess. <laughs> I knew somebody was going to be having a dance party. Oh, somebody <laughs> just chilling and relaxing. Oh, Dustin found him. What a waste of time. Okay. Well, I did find Fry, though, so that's good. All, all that's left is RJ? Wow, good job, RJ. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I am freaking out. I am, okay, okay. Round six just started and Echo Lake has now been eliminated. Galaxy's Edge is the only land I can go to. I've got to make my way to Galaxy's Edge without being seen. There are seven people looking for me. I doubt that that's gonna happen. This path is the only way in or out. They can't go that way. They can't go to Toy Story Land. This is the path. This is it. We're gonna find RJ. We're gonna find him. Okay, here we go. I'm so scared. Here it goes. I just gotta keep my head down. Keep my head down. Keep my wits about me. I made it to the end. Yeah, you I made it to the end. Fry, you didn't tell me that being the first seeker makes you incredibly sweaty. It does, yeah. That's also, all the costume time. changes didn't help. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. All I know is that no one is ready for me to be the seeker tomorrow. I'm ready. I'm nervous. I'm scared. I'm shaving my hair. We just filmed our scavenger hunt, holiday scavenger hunt. It came out on Christmas Eve. You can watch it on the channel now. Um, and, uh, you know, we've just been, we're on the bus now because we're headed to our next hide and seek location. And fry has got a lot of bags. What you got in all those bags, Fry? 
You do look like you're going to school. I feel like I'm going to school. I loved going to school. I kind of find it in my heart to relate to you on that. And I was like, is there anything about school I like? <laughs> it is day three of our hide and seek challenge and I am the first seeker. I hope you guys are ready. You may call me the seekinator. No. You but go for Dr. Seeker. Doctor, oh, Dr. Oh, Dr. Seeker. All right, day three takes place at Animal Kingdom. And today's twist, I want to, I want to, preface this, that this has been written for a long time. I did not come up with this twist. However, everyone must wear a very large, obnoxious Christmas light decoration around their neck the entire time. It must be visible. And everyone, remember your curses. You have 12 minutes to hide until your fate is inevitable. Your time begins now. <laughs> Emma has two curses, just so everybody remembers. Okay, so my disguise, yesterday did not really go as planned because I was the second found. There's a loud waterfall. I think I'm gonna hit up Dino Land and see if I can get on Triceratops Spin. It's a spinning attraction because that'll give me some bonus points. I'm so mad about this necklace. It ruins, it ruins my disguise for today. But you know what? Nothing's gonna ruin my good time, and that's what's most important. My goal is to do what I do best and uh, just relax a little bit. We're going to head to Yak and Yeti and try to get into the secret hole in the wall bar in the back and hang out there for a while because I don't think he'll think about going into the speakeasy. So let's see if that works. I'm cold, but I'm nervous again because Sage Sage is very crafty. We gotta find a good hiding spot. <laughs> so this is a spinning attraction similar to Dumbo and the Magic Carpets. It's really great for the family. And right now it only has a 10 minute wait, so I'm gonna hop in line. I'm trying to gain some extra points to get ahead of the curve, but I'm worried because those little bonus points kind of put you in plain sight. They give Sage like a leg up to know where to look. But I'm gonna throw on a sweatshirt and a hat and see if that can throw him off. Okay, so we're in disguise. Um, I think I'm kind of giving a theme park dad, which um, Sage is a theme park dad, so hopefully he doesn't recognize me because I feel like theme park dad, they just feel each other. You know what I mean? Okay, I'm nervous. I feel like he's gonna check here first. I don't wanna be the seeker. It makes me scared. I actually exited the park to use the restrooms just outside the entrance to change because I have a feeling Sage is so sneaky, he would somehow get to me in time to exit the bathroom inside and see what my disguise is. Okay, friends. So the wig is out. And really the only person who's actually seen me in this is Quincy. So I'm really hoping that this is gonna be helpful and hopefully it'll cover my necklace too. I think, I don't know, I can't sit down. So I might just like wander through some stores. Okay, I'm headed towards Dino Land. I was wearing a dinosaur hat earlier. I feel like I look really different than I usually do with a headband. But I need to make my hair a little less floofy, but I also want to hide the necklace with it as much as possible. So I am not actually going to go into Dino Land. I'm going to go hang out around, around Finding Nemo. And I thought about going to the back of Finding Nemo. I think instead I'm going to sit in the theater because I just feel like if I'm far enough off to the side, the likelihood of him coming in there is kind of low. So that's what I'm gonna try. Also, what do we think? Do we like it? I might be kind of about it. Bar is not gonna work for us because it's technically a sit down restaurant and it's gonna be quick service, so that's fine. We're gonna, we're just gonna make our way around where I kind of want to be able to see which direction he goes and kind of spy it out a little bit. I think that's kind of the goal here with this land being so spread out. If I can see him and he can't see me, that might be the route to go. I'm gonna hide in guest relations because I just don't think that he's gonna come in here. So that's where we're gonna go, guest relations, and I really hope he doesn't find me. Okay. It's warm in here too, so 
there's that. But I'm just gonna, I'm gonna hide right here. I found a spot in Dino Land. I'm in Dino Land right now. Not that you could tell. Hi, Kevin. Hello. Hi, Kevin. Thank you. <laughs> I'm playing hide and seek, so I'm gonna go hide, okay? If you see if you see the seeker, don't tell him that you saw me. Okay. okay. What does he look like? Well he's wearing all black. All black. Okay. Yep, he's in a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. And a Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. Okay. And he's pretty tall. Pretty so tall. High hair also. Okay. He's like okay. Yep. Okay. Don't tell him where you saw me. Okay. okay. Thank you, Kevin. Thanks everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna go this way. I'm in the theater. Which might sound crazy because you can see a lot from here, but that's the point. I can see a lot, and I can see him coming. So, I think this is it. Ready or not, here comes Starkey. We're gonna go to the bathroom and quickly make a, make our disguise happen. All right, let's, let's do it. Literally just made it back in. <laughs> just made it back in, and Sage is on his way to find people. And I have one more surprise. Come out, come out, wherever you are. <laughs> That's what Sage is saying, and I am not answering back. Okay, they'll never expect me now. <laughs> now I'm dressed as my wife. He's still up here. But the thing is, Sage is very tall, so he can very well see me easily. This is kind of the view he usually has. I've made it to Dino Land. I am in line to meet Chip and Dale way in the back in the back of Dino Land USA. Um, there's only a few minutes until the first round is over, so I really hope this land isn't eliminated. Chip and Dale are about to leave for a few minutes and come back, and there's kind of a long line, so I'm gonna be here for a minute. I'm just gonna try to knock out all the characters as soon as possible, and hopefully not get caught. Five minutes left of round one. I'm going to Triceratops spin to try to get extra bonus points. All right, we're gonna hit right behind these bushes here. We can see him come if he's coming. Got some green on, trying to hide the hat a little bit. You know, see what goes on. These hoodies might be the best camo. We'll see. And yeah, it's cold. Ooh. Oh, I see him, 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 I see him. Oh, you know what's interesting? It is past, oh gosh, it's actually later on in the evening. Animal trails are closed, Maharaja Trek is closed, which means Gorilla Falls is probably closed. Oh, okay. All right now, Dino Land USA did just get eliminated, which means we are at the end of round one. Hey, Locke is over here too. Holy cow, was that close? I had to run and hide into the lockers. I have no idea where he went. So I still may be up for grabs here. But that was insane. Insane, insane, insane. I don't know where he went, so now I'm super freaking nervous, but I think he went back the direction he came in. So I think I might be safe. Ooh, doggy, that was close. Hey, bad news bears. Dino Land was the first one to get eliminated, which is crazy because that's where all the characters are that we're able to meet for bonus points. So, I mean, I guess that's fine because nobody will be getting that many bonus points. So, we're on the move again. You are so pretty. I, I know we've never met, but I really no. love your sweatshirt but and your oh my hair. God, like, your hair is amazing. Thanks. Uh, red lip. What red lip? Okay. They have eliminated Dino Land, which I'm technically in. So, we're headed out now. Um, I'm only gonna film for a second because my camera's really obvious, but I'm currently gonna head to Asia and then on to um, Discovery Island where Sage started. I think I'm gonna head to the Tree of Life trails, but I'm also gonna put my cam- I'm gonna change my camera to much smaller. Round one is over and Dinoland has just been eliminated, so I'm gonna head to Discovery Island and hopefully ha Hage, hopefully Sage isn't headed this way. What's hilarious is that Dinoland USA is actually the place with the most characters to get bonus points. Which means, really the only place to get bonus points now is, uh, oh gosh, yeah, Triceratops Spin is also out. 
Oh, this is very much working in my favor. The only place to get bonus points is by eating, uh, eating an out from an outdoor kiosk. Oh, I'm on the hunt, you guys. I may look gorgeous, but I'm fierce. We made it to Asia. No sign of Dr. Seeker over there. I was gonna head to Discovery Island where he started, but I did tell him about my strategy yesterday of backtracking the place that I had been. So instead, I'm gonna move to the other part of the Rivers of Light Theater and I'm gonna sit down kind of close to another family. Obviously not disruptively close, unless they like wanna hang out. And then hope that he doesn't see me over here and keep my vantage point. It's no use, Quincy, I got you. I gotcha. <laughs> oh, sorry. I gotta be cool about it. Yeah, this is a pretty cool ride, I guess. A lot has happened. Dino Land closed to us just as we got on the ride, but we were given permission to ride and then immediately exit the land by the producer. So, we're good there, we got our extra points. The other news is Sage found Quincy and they could be anywhere. There are two of them now and I hope this disguise works. Well, that was short lived. I knew I had a reason to feel nervous. Sage and I have been on like a weird dual wavelength all day where it's like we've thought we were like, uh. I have found my new spot. I am in kind of between Oasis and Discovery Island. There's a little seating area whenever you first enter the park. So towards the park exit, you can sit on these nice little benches. Um, and I, this is a good spot because I can see who's coming, but it also doesn't really give me a great escape if I do see them. So I kind of put myself in a bit of a pickle, but we're gonna cross our fingers. Also, it seems that like Quincy has been found. She's back on Team Seeker. Gotcha. Gotcha real good. Oh my gosh. Gotcha real good. And happy hunting. I love you. Well, I've been found and Sage, <laughs> I cannot believe what Sage is wearing. Do I do this to Emma? I was just walking with her. I feel so bad, but I want to win. I want to win. I'm sorry, Emma. I'm sorry in advance. I know. I'm sorry, queen. Sage just, Sage just found me. I'm sorry, but I want to win. No. No more alliances ever in our lives. You're such a treat. I know. I'll never I feel you. bad. Almost everyone has been found. Okay, so Quincy was found, then Fry was found, and then and then Emma was found. So that puts that puts me, Dustin, RJ. Sage is Sage is seeking. Me, Dustin, RJ, Braid Love. Okay, it's just the boys and me. They're going too fast. I'm kind of getting scared. Oh man, I wish they were doing kite tails tonight. <sighs> Literally, so many people have been found. Emma has been found, Quincy, Fry Bucket. I'm so nervous, but I'm just a cool guy standing here by the water taking in the view. I am still in guest relations and people are being found left and right and no one is thinking to look here. And I'm just enjoying the incredible staff as they help everyone with their needs and it's warm, I lucked out. I'm hoping that no one finds this place and it doesn't get eliminated so I can just sit and continue to chill. Eventually, I know I will have to move though, but um, I'm good right now, baby. I'm good. I wasted my good red lipstick for nothing. <sighs> but we found this and it might be the only person I ever find, so three left. Hopefully none of them will recognize me. So I better put this camera down. Boom. Got him. Got him. Clown. <laughs> clown. Clown, clown, clown. As I was really just so, sent another picture of, uh, of Q. Yeah, she <laughs> went that way. So, yeah, but I can show those points. I'll mm. take it. Better than zero. Do you forgive me now? No, but it's okay. Of a gun. I'm looking one direction to get caught the other side. I decided I'm gonna do something extremely risky. There are five minutes left around two. So instead of going further into the park, I think I'm gonna go back towards Oasis. Technically the Disney app considers where I was hiding, Discovery Island, 
So if Discovery Island gets eliminated, I think I'm probably gonna stick in Oasis and maybe get trapped in there, but I also feel like they're only gonna search there if they're desperate. I'm really scared. Another twist has come, has come into play. Their lights on their necklaces have to be turned on. And it's starting to get, sunset is happening, it's starting to get a little dark. So we will definitely see those bright lights. We've been instructed by our producer to turn on our necklaces, so it's a good thing. I am far away from hopefully everyone. Oh my gosh, it works. Wow, we can stand here and be cool guys and support people with water. Where are you going? 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 You here? You found? Yeah, you were hustling too, man. You were like, you were like free, free tag. Oh man. That's, I wasn't even in Oasis. I was just like, I should move in case they come back that way. Okay, so I just found out that I'm in the Oasis and I have to move. So I'm walking out of the Oasis, praying that I'm not spotted. I'm sitting here right next to the bridge from the Oasis. I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes to see if Reed Love or RJ pass through. Maybe they won't see me that I'm sitting here. I am now in Discovery Island and I'm gonna go hide in the Riverside Depot because that's where I live. RJ I live in Riverside, out. California, so. I'm gonna hide here. Here is where I am hiding. Hey, buddy. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Sorry. Oh. Guys, it's just breed love now. It's just breed love. I, this is good for breed love, but oh, he's, gosh, he, he cannot escape. We've gotta get him. Okay, it's just down to me. <laughs> Or us, you, you and I. <laughs> We're the only ones left. RJ was found. He's got to be in a disguise, so I'm gonna start looking for people who look a little, a little, a little funky. Maybe look a little suspicious. Okay, so he sent a photo of. So we have a call out. Essentially, you have to kind of give three hints of what you're seeing, or today you have to send a really zoomed-in photo. He just sent his, and it's of a drain. I sent them a super zoomed in photo of this, and uh, oh my gosh. Uh, I, I, I don't know, I hope it's working. Okay, it may be a hubcap. It's a hubcap, or like a top pick up. Random barrel of some sort. I've checked it everywhere. And the picture that he sent First halfway call was this tire. Okay, he's just sent a picture. It looks like a manhole cover, but it doesn't look like the ones. It doesn't look like the ones in Pandora, and I think everyone will think it is one in Pandora. He's by Cali. Cali River Rapids. Who thought it was a good idea to ask the Broadway makeup artist and captain of costumes, Breed Love, to play hide and seek with us? Um, I believe that was you. Oh my gosh, I got him. Oh my gosh, I got him. Wait. Excuse me, are you are you breed love from all ears? You're such a pretty girl. <laughs> I found you. You're such a pretty girl. <laughs> that is day three complete. I'm first seeker tomorrow again. Get ready to go down. I'm coming for 50 bonus points. And we have not one, but two twists tomorrow. Boom! Wow. Twist yes. number one is that you may not stay in one place for more than five minutes. Nice. Are you serious? <laughs> right. And twist number two is a surprise. I'll tell you guys tomorrow. Oh. Oh. I hate surprises. Producer Cher, we Get me out of here. here. What? Yo, v, you're I getting a hug. I didn't know everyone was gonna be so nice to me today. You could still win this thing. I could. Today could be the I day. I for like last four night. outfits. And I we're gonna watch this video and be like, wow, we were so young and sweet. I don't think we'll say sweet. <laughs> I don't think we'll say young. <laughs> day four, final day in Magic Kingdom! Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right, wow. this has been a 
fun wild competition and it's only gonna get wilder today for a couple of reasons. We've got two twists today, they're gonna make it a whole lot harder. The first, you have to move every five minutes. If you stay put for more than five minutes, you gotta move. Second, surprise twist, I heard from our producers this morning. What? Double points. That's Double a good twist. points. That's a good twist. Double points on finding people. Good for me. Oh. oh. And bonus points, okay. good wait, for you. Okay. Wait, 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 we get double for bonus double points. Double on bonus points. Yeah. Everything, 20? they were 20? worth 10, they're now worth 20. That means oh, today wow. matters more than every other day. Your standing could change in a heartbeat. Yeah. That, means, hey, that means anybody could win. Anybody's game. <laughs> I think I'm only ahead by five, so that's not looking great for me. <laughs> and uh, we start right about now. What? Oh. what? Wait, oh, what? Are you my phone ready? Ready? Seriously, now? Oh, wait, no. Are we really but starting now? Is the time drop? I'm not Quincy, ready that's to not say fair. goodbye to all of you. I don't have my camera. I haven't said goodbye. I are we You're really going? No, I, I got a cow. Close your eyes. Yo, she's oh, literally going. Asshole. Okay. Oh, well, sorry. One, two, oh, three, oh, my gosh. four, five, six, seven. I have all the curses. I have so many curses that I don't know if I will be able to keep track of them all. So I wrote them in my notes app and I'm going to be referencing them. Meep meep. I'm going in to use the restroom here in Tomorrowland Terrace. My strategy today is of course another disguise, but this time it's less about what I'm wearing it's more about the body language. That today is the day that I make my final transformation into the little old lady. I think my first move is I want to get some bonus points to get ahead. So I'm going to head behind the castle into fantasy land. Oh my goodness, this is crazy. Okay, we're on the move. Okay, here's my plan for today. I have a really funny idea about something that will help me not look like myself. So on today's bonus points list, if you ride the Prince Charming Regal Carousel, you get 10 bonus points, but now that's doubling to 20. Obviously, this is a great attraction for families. You can all do this together. And if you know anything about Disney, you'll know that a carousel was really important to the, basically the inception and birth of Disney World, Disneyland. My strategy is to hide in plain sight. And so I'm hiding right in front of the castle. I hope it works. Let's go. Well, hello there. <clears throat> I'm just here to make my way to uh, fantasy land to ride some horses and carousels and whatnot. Uh, please excuse me. All right, I'm gonna hide in plain sight. Hopefully this works as well. It's not as good as yesterday, but I'm gonna hide in the crowd. I'm gonna move at kind of a slow uh, glacial pace. I'm kind of, I'm kind of hunched over. The way people think I'm definitely a little older. I'm really gonna use my use my body to hide as opposed to just my outfit. Meep meep. I'm on the move. That's one of my curses, and this is my disguise today. <clears throat> I darkened my beard. Did I go too far? Not a very big costume change, but I did take off a bright red sweatshirt, took off my hat, which I'm always wearing a hat. Got a little scully beanie going on here. I'm gonna go without glasses for now, which I might lose some sight seeing people coming but let's just see if that can hide me at least a little bit i don't know we'll see what happens here um but maybe just a little bit of change will help me out just a little bit so i can hide more in plain sight we'll see <laughs> do i look like a snow queen what do we think do we like it i went with the snow queen um i kind of love it and obviously i'm a grown woman getting my face painted the cast member was kind of like what you doing and then i explained that we're playing hide and seek and she loved that idea she was like oh my gosh my family does challenges all the time we're more like transportation challenges see how fast you can get to different parks with different transportation i was like oh my gosh i love that it's so fun all right i'm in my 12 minutes of them hiding um i'm not gonna do very much today because switching up the costumes i think slowed me down and i need to find a lot of people today if i want to win this thing so hair is just going back and then hood is going up and that is the that's the high uh, as, for me a secret otherwise I'm moving I'm finding these people it's day four I know how they think I, I gotta just I gotta just get them out of here I'm currently fantasy land bound this is one of the bigger lands 
and it's in the back of the park. And I know a lot of folks' strategy yesterday when Sage was seeking was to get as far away from him as possible. So that's uh, where I'm going. I think I'm actually gonna pop back into Storybook Circus and see if I can't find anyone back there. Okay, I have started to get into my disguise, but I'm kind of exposed here on the carousel. Um, and I can't change my shirt yet, but I do have my little hat that AJ got me from Disneyland Tokyo for their 40th anniversary. But if, if Quincy checks here first, I'm in bad shape. So inconspicuously, I am down by 50 points. So I have to get these bonuses done and I have to stay hidden as long as possible. So let's do this carousel, get these bonus points. I managed, I managed to put on, oh, I'm scared. And there's like no one next to me. I managed to put on my disguise, my sweater. I think I saw Dustin in line. What's Dustin doing? Okay, I made it over to Liberty Square. Um, I'm actually also filming a breakfast video. Not that Quincy knows that. I'm gonna grab some breakfast right now. Um, <laughs> hopefully hide here in the back. Um, and if you wanna see that ultimate guide of breakfast, go check it out on the channel right now. I don't know if my disguise works in daylight, but I'm sure giving it a test drive, the ultimate test drive, the final game. No Chip and Dale. I'm gonna head over to Mad Tea Party. We just got the ranking and I'm five points behind Sage. So literally I have to do every single bonus. Not being caught, not being found isn't enough today. Almost all of the bonus bonuses are gonna be in Fantasyland. So I feel like I might, I might play it safe, but if Fantasyland gets eliminated first, I'm gonna have no bonuses. I'm just gonna have to stay in the game. Now with the twists of not being, I'm, I'm gonna continue to move around, so I'm not really nervous about the five minute, uh, five minute you know, movement twist. But the fact that points are double today, and the fact that I'm only five points ahead of Breedlove, and Breedlove's really good at hiding, uh, especially he's, a, he's, he's also a master of disguise, I'm gonna have to play this really, really strategically. I'm not really seeing anyone around Storybook Circus. Um, it's really empty back here, so it's honestly not a great place to hide because there's just not that many people to hide in. Also, some of the meet and greets are back here. The only meet and greets that count for bonus points are those with outside lines. So, Chip and Dale used to meet back here, but they're now meeting in Tomorrowland. So, I might swing into Tomorrowland here soon. Not worried about the posted wait. We will wait as long as we need to because being in line is the one place we can stand still for longer than five minutes and we are going to take advantage of that. Sage is behind me dressed as a very glamorous woman and now I have to clap. You have to clap, I have to clap when I see another player. That's one of the curses. So I did it and also Sage looks amazing. Okay, I'm currently in line for the tea party. Here goes nothing. Okay, we just got our five minute move reminder, so I have to, I'm gonna move, I'm gonna I have to go. There is some construction going on for Columbia Harbor House, but there's also just a stroller parking area back here behind the construction. Anyone can walk up, this is completely free reign. I'm gonna hang out here for a minute while I kind of decide if, what I'm gonna do. Am I, will, am I willing to risk it all? Mm. To ride the teacups, I probably am. I might just ride the teacups for fun. All right, y'all, so I'm on the move. It's time for me to go, because we're moving every five minutes. This is really stressful, but I just left from Main Street. Now I'm in Tomorrowland Terrace. So let's go, okay? It's time to go. There is no one, it appears, in Storybook Circus right now, or at least I missed them. I'm gonna check the parents waiting for their kids to go off Dumbo. And then I'm gonna go back and check the Winnie the Pooh and Tigger line and the Mad Tea Party again. Maybe start working my way over towards Carousel. You to know I love your jacket. Oh wow, I love your whole ensemble, miss. Hey, 
Rock and roll. Yes, I remember that time rock of and the roll. 60s and the, and the, and the rolling and roll. of the rock. All right. Best of luck. Stay safe out there. Okay, Sage is a genius. I wanted to react more excitedly, but I, I wanted to also stay in character. So, you saw it was caught on camera. I did applaud. Now we are in a line, a long line, it looks like, to meet who and Tigger, but we're allowed to stand still in lines, and we're partially concealed in lines, and that is exactly what we want. Just as I suspected, Breedlove is also after all the bonus points in Fantasyland before it gets eliminated. Well, I am currently, oh, this is this is gonna be neck and neck. He is, he's such a good hider and his disguise is awesome. I did not anticipate seeing his disguise so early. scared but now is the time to be bold it's now or never I'm gonna try to get to the teacups and if I don't see you on the other side this has been terrifying Frontierland was just eliminated of course I would love to go over to Storybook Circus way back in the back where the phone chargers are and stuff but I feel like that's too obvious like I, I feel like Quincy will know that someone is back there so I'm gonna try to find a more secretive spot. Okay, I did get some water because it's important to stay hydrated, y'all. Um, I was going to head towards Liberty Square because I think there's a lot of good places to hide over there, but I think I'm gonna head towards the Mad Tea Party because I think I need to get as many bonus points as I can. I think we're all gonna be, I think we're all going to be pretty exposed today because we have to keep moving, so I might as well risk it for the biscuit. I was able to get onto the ride and get off the ride without getting caught so far. I'm out in the open now with my camera in my hand, which is probably not a good thing, but we are done. We got those bonus points. Let's keep on moving. Let's try to get over to the teacups and try to ride the teacups. That's the goal. You know what? I'm going to do a bonus task. Mad Tea Party is 10 minute wait. Excuse me. We're going to do it because I need bonus points. Look who I see. Not so hidden, are they? You just saw Fry get in line, and I told Dustin, don't acknowledge her, because she's going to try and pass off her curse. Yeah, so we're just I looking know. away. Everybody's trying to get the bonus points today, I, I see. I know, everyone, everyone is aggressive. This is my second ride. This is, I know, you rode Carousel. Oh, you saw me? I oh. saw you. But so. time is up in round one. There goes my 50 points. What's eliminated now? Frontierland's eliminated. Okay, well, that's good, because I don't want to walk over there. I'm going to circle back to Mad Tea and then maybe check Tomorrowland. Mad Tea Party seems like a really simple one to nab. So obviously, Dustin and I kind of met up yep. on accident Hello. in this ride. So we're going to ride together so we don't look like we're solo and draw attention to ourselves. Where did Dustin go? I thought we were riding together. I'm just checking the perimeter here. Just checking the perimeter. All right, here we go. We're obvious with our cameras in our faces. So this is it. We'll see you guys after the ride. I've got a two for one and they don't even know yet. I'm gonna stand here and watch the ride. Dustin and Cassie together, Team DFB. Dang it. Okay, Quincy just found Dustin and Fry and she said they don't know it yet. So she's around Mad Tea Party. I hope she doesn't find me. Fry? You're, she's ratting. In line? She's in line? In line? Oh my gosh. Wow. Fry's in line. Okay. Here we go. Hey, Fry. <laughs> Emma! <laughs> I just got all four of you. Man, I knew a second. So we've been found. Hey, remember just right now on camera when I told you guys this was now or never? It's now or never. It was never. <laughs> we have moved to Fantasyland. I love Fantasyland. They got so many rides I just love. Like the Mad Tea Party ride. So we just gonna hang out in Fantasyland, okay? What is that, RJ? RJ, go get him. Hey, RJ! I'm... Girl. Dude! <laughs> This was absolute insanity. And you know what? If I 
I knew I shouldn't have been bold. That was the stupidest thing. The first time in my life I decided to be bold and I get, I get out for it. Oh well, that was incredible. Spotting RJ is the highlight of my life. And now RJ gave me a little tip. He knows what Sage looks like. And I know that he's in a crazy disguise with a big black hat. So keeping our eyes peeled. Okay, this is absolutely wild. I just got off the carousel and uh, everyone was found except for me and Breedlove. Uh, which, I mean, I'm gonna continue to earn bonus points. Hopefully my disguise works for me, but everyone is a seeker now except for except for me and Breedlove. And he's in a crazy disguise, so am I. I have no idea how this is gonna shake out. But I just got 40 points uh, from the teacups plus the carousel. So I think I'm gonna go back to the teacups because I can redo bonus points. I can, I can continue to do rides as long as no one finds me. So back to teacups. All right, so we are all helping out each other to an extent. And I just got a text message separately from Emma saying that Sage is dressed as a lady with a big black sun hat. So I'm gonna be looking for this big black sun hat over here in the parade route because right now is the time where it's gonna be easy just to hide in a crowd. So let's go and see if we can find him. Here's the other crazy part, is that every time, I now have two curses. Anytime I pass an ice cream cart, I have to scat and I have to put my hand on my head. So I'm gonna pretend like I have a constant headache. And that makes sense for an old lady, right? All right, I am currently scouring the line. Again, what we're looking for is people who are alone, people who are turned around from me. Just inspect them a little closer. Pua and Tigger just took a break. Um, it was a little bit longer than, or it felt longer than usual. I really hope Fantasyland doesn't close on me, but um, they're back and they're greeting and we're moving. I'm at, I'm at the gift shop for um, the Mini Adventures of Winnie the Pooh and I think I have to weave in and out of shops because it's very obvious that my hand is constantly on my head. This is wild. I cannot believe I've made it this far. Okay, I gotta keep weaving in and out of shops. Here we go. Okay, I think I want to check out this parade route. This is risky business because it's a huge crowd. So I'm probably not likely to find anyone, especially someone disguised, but we're still gonna see. Down by Seven Dwarfs Mine Train. I have to stop and start to get, uh, it's, this is too risky. I can't just make a full cross. And I have to keep a lookout for them now because there are so many seekers. I guarantee you they're posted at some of these. I think it might be too risky to get bonus points right now. I wonder if Greed Love is still over by the meet and greet. Let's go check it out. I'm gonna keep scoping out Tomorrowland. Kinda keep my eyes peeled. All right, RJ found me, but let's go find Greed Love. I know exactly where he is. Hey, Breed Love! Hi, Breed Love! What a couple of beautiful Love gals. These guys are amazing. Aren't they lovely? What a fun bunch. Traitors. All right, the results are in. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, sugar. Don't let us wait too long now. That's All right. right. Okay, She's okay, okay, okay. okay. Sheila knows best. Third place. Breed love. Really? Oh. 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 Whoa. How the mighty have fallen. That's an upset. Oh. The official winner of our huge hide and seek challenge is... This is a perfect day, so Sage will be planning his perfect day. Okay, okay. I can't wait. But someone else is also getting their perfect day. What? Mm-hmm. Who? Yeah. So we're awarding a second perfect day to the person considered the strongest player. Oh. Uh, <laughs> AKA the person who received the most curses on the final day, which is Breedlove. Oh. Oh. for teaching me about the theatrical arts. <laughs> and I'd like to thank my wig collection and everyone who ever looked at me like I was weird. <laughs> if you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe and now go watch our huge Last to Leave Disney World challenge. We'll see you there. Bye. My arthritis. <laughs>